So like some gamers out there, you might still have your Wii laying around, either because there are select Wii games that you collected or still play, to my situation that it's backwards compatible with a GameCube. But what you're running into is a lot of TVs nowadays are getting rid of those component cables. So what are you supposed to do? Well, I've been using the Hyperkin Wii to HDMI cable now for a couple months, and to be honest, I've had a great experience with it. So to start off with, I did a lot of searching for some way to convert my Wii to an HDMI plug. And what I ran into, I seen some options out there, but a lot of them went from Wii to HDMI, but then you had to use a 3.5 millimeter cable for audio, and I just didn't want to do that. And me, I capture my footage, so for me to do that would be nearly impossible with my current setup. And I stumbled upon this one day. And I was like, I read reviews, and it's gotten about a three-star rating, maybe a little less now on Amazon. And there were some mixed reviews. Some people were having problems. Some people weren't. So I decided to take a jump on it. Now, the cable itself is seven foot long. It's a pretty long cable and pretty simple looking. It is a Wii adapter on one side. HDMI on the other, and about in the middle is where all the magic happens in this little box here. Now, basically, this takes your component colors and converts them in the middle to an HDMI plug. Pretty simple, right? And that's the experience I've had so far. Testing it out, again, I, I'm a big fan of some original GameCube games and one of them I've been playing recently is Ocarina of Time. And I've actually got videos up on the channel right now that you can look at that show this in action. Audio sounds fine. Picture quality is fine. No issues. Now, to preface this, this says it's in HD. Always remember the Wii's highest capable one was 480i. This isn't going to get you 720p. It's not going to get you 1080p. This is 480i which in a sense is HD, but not the HD that most people are thinking or watching nowadays. Now, one thing I will note that I did have a couple issues with when I first purchased it was when I plugged it into my HDMI 1 port on my TV, which was the 4K best quality port, it didn't like it. My system just sat there. Sometimes I would get audio, but for the most part, it sat no display. As soon as I moved from HDMI port 1 to 2, it instantly started working. So uh, I don't know if some of the reviewers are only trying one HDMI port, uh, but my experiences were I jumped down to another port. It instantly started working. One thing I did also run into just once was no audio. Um, I had picture, but no sound. So I quickly just unplugged the HDMI, plugged it back in. It instantly started working. I didn't even have to restart the system. So that was one thing I ran into personally, um, along with the um, HDMI port 1 information I just shared. So people that are having issues, maybe check that. Um, another thing I was reading, some people said that this little box here was getting really hot, hotter than what you could touch. Personally, I never ran into that problem, and that was after recording for three, four hours. And I went up there to touch it. It gets a little warm, but nothing like what people were describing on the forums. Now, right now on Amazon, these are going for about $21 to $22, upwards to $25 sometimes. And honestly, at that price, I have no arguments. I've had good luck so far, and I understand some people haven't. Go try it out for yourself. As always, you know, if it doesn't work out, return it as soon as possible. But I would recommend checking all your HDMI ports before just sending it back. Uh, again, I ran into that problem personally. But besides that, I've been able to play Wii games on here. I've been able to play GameCube games on here. And for the most part, I can enjoy all my titles on my newer TV without any problems or concerns with quality. I'm still getting 480i. And I expect that I'm not expecting something different. So if you happen to have any questions about the Hyperkin Weed HDMI cable, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. And these are the experiences I personally had with it. It's a definite buy in my situation. So on that note, until next time, you guys, stay frosty.